It's been phenomenal. I mean, just the excitement, uh, people's energy, the music, the costumes. We just finished uh, the Lion Dance group and the whole crowd, people were doing selfies with them. It was phenomenal. So it is quite a festival and to think we pack it all within the five hour allotment that we have is crazy to think about. The booths this year, we have about 40 different groups. Um, everything from nonprofits are most focused here. There are some cultural groups, not only on UNC campus that are participating this year, but other ones in the surrounding community. The food is gonna be amazing. We have five different cultural foods. We've got Ethiopian cauliflower salad. We have a Oktoberfest uh, German street taco so five different uh, foods to choose from. I think of it in terms of the diversity of the performances of not just so much their costumes and the music, but everything from the, you know, we give uh, text in the background on these slides about what that dance means to those people and what it is specifically that they're dancing about. You know, when we started the performance, we had Calvin Standy Bear and his group, and they actually had audience participate in their dance. Uh, and it was a friendship dance. So we have the whole gamut, whether it's high energy, I'm still, uh, jazzed up about the last group, the uh, lion dance group, and just the sound, and I, my ears are still ringing a little in regards to that, but now we have a Cambodian dance group that's four ladies, and it's a very soft, so it's the whole gamut that we have. This event shows the multitude of uh, diversity that we have, fortunately, in our community. You know, there's 70 different languages spoken in our school district, but when you can put it all in one stage or on one day and get an idea of the scope of how many different communities within our community this affects, it just makes you appreciate it that much more. You know, how often do you get the opportunity to see these different groups and see them perform? Well, we're bringing it all onto one stage. And what that does is it brings those members of the community that maybe um, are underserved or feel like they're not part of something. This is their day to be a part of something. And we really feel like with the energy that they bring and the message that they bring, that they can uh, draw in those community members and the amount of vast community members we have in Greeley and Weld County to come in and celebrate all these cultures.